You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live on Facebook every week. Type 5 in the comments to subscribe to the show. And now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 229th episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, coming at you live from Graveyard Central, all right, here for this special episode of Potty Talk Live, Halloween special. <laughs> hey, it's good to have you here. Hey, I got a picture here. Uh, you can see a picture of my last crew, you know, right here. Look at that. <laughs> I recognize those guys. All right. Hey, it's good to have you here. All right. Hey, welcome to our, our Halloween special here where we're, our topic is, is going to be um, is asking a question is your plumbing business haunted all right is your plumbing business haunted uh, I'm, I bet it is all right if, if you got these three things happening you got you got a plumbing business that's haunted you know it's like that uh, it's like the movie where you know it says get out where the house says get out why, why don't guys just leave when you hear stuff like that you just say well what's that we should stick around. You know, you know what movie I'm, ta movie I'm talking about? The lovely Laura, yeah. baby. You remember that? Okay, I'm turning my mic on. Are oh, you turning your mic on? I'm going to ask okay. everybody how we sound. And last night we were really echoey and kind of weird. So um, I'll turn it on for now. But if everybody says it's terrible, we, we'll turn it off. All right. Hey, and I got, I got my monster drink here yes. in, in, in honor of the, of the Hollow's <laughs> Eve here. And also uh, CF, the plumbing sales coach. Yeah. You know, he, he's, a, he's addicted. It's really it's his drink of choice. Yes. Ah, yes, and works for magic. me is noticing that you are looking um, mighty fine, looking sharp. Hey, I'm, I'm sharp. Plumber. You know, in case I find myself in a casket or something here, no. I'm ready to go. <laughs> How you guys doing? Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, it's great to have you on board here. If you're watching live, you know what to do. All right. Type live in the comments, please. Yes. All right. And if you're watching the replay, type replay, por favor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you're listening to the podcast, you know what to do, right? Just keep on listening. That's right. CF said that's his drink. In fact, hey, hey brother, these, this is the last one that's left in our, in our fridge, okay, after you left. Hey, I was holding it for you, but since you never came back, you know, mm, he just left us, you know. Hey, all right. So it's good. Hey, yeah, we, we're doing a little uh, Hallow's Eve special here. And again, our topic's going to be, you know, is your plumbing business haunted? What? Yes. Watching. Watching with a four-legged terrace. We oh, yeah. Yeah, you got gosh, you. What is she eating lately? Yeah, right. Your house, that's, it's not haunted. You got a little demon dog. <laughs> a little demon dog. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's cute. Oh, it is cute. You know? All right. Um, let's see. Jeff says lots of customers are haunted. Ooh, that's, Ooh, that's a good point. There, there, are some, there are some customers who are, like, like possessed. Okay. All right, there's nothing you can do about it, you know, yeah, okay? Hey, Ryan, good to have you on board here, brother, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, BJ's, in the house. BJ's in the house. All right, good to have you here. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, and hey, hey, what's, um, you know, I was thinking, I was getting ready for, you know, of course, I should be focused on the business stuff, mm -hmm. but I, I was thinking about uh, scary movies. Mm -hmm. I don't like, in our family, <laughs> everyone in our family <laughs> likes scary movies, but I have to admit, I'm, I'm a wuss. I just well, don't you're not like. A wuss. You just don't like them. I just don't like the scary it's movies. All, you know, I just don't like that stuff. So, but I do have a favorite. What's your favorite scary movie? Let me what's know. What's your? One, let's ask it differently. What's what? the movie that freaked you out? Ooh, that's a good one. Wait, like what's I? Okay. Totally freaked you out. To this you day. Had to sleep in your parents' room, maybe mm -hmm. for a few nights or something. Um, yeah. What's what's the mu movie that? Freaked why are you out? why are you writing it down? I was yeah. I was thinking about that, and to this day, mm -hmm. you know, I'm what? Well, I'm 56 years old. Way back in first grade. You look amazing. Wait, wait, hey baby. Okay. Um, what? Way back in first grade. It's back when the, in schools would show movies. In fact, now schools would be. A, I mean, you, you can't do this to kids. You can't show movies. You know, you can't scare them or whatever. But they show this movie. In, in school, okay. in school, and so I was a first grader. I'm down front mm -hmm. watching this, watching this scary movie. Yeah, I don't like scary movies, man. Okay. And 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 to this day, and I and I a couple years ago, I it's, it's stuck with me for all these years. That I, even a couple years ago, I looked it up. It's some it turned out to be like a B one of these B, not even a B movie. You know when they talk about B movies, you know like this was a C movie, <laughs> C movie. But it was a Vulture Man. 
<laughs> vulture man. He was vulture half man. vulture, um, except for his head. I mean, uh, other, I mean his head and his, uh, his arms. And were like two of his wings. And he would, they would swoop down and pick people up out of, you know, of course, you know, everyone's driving in conver convertibles at night. You know, looking back now, mm -hmm. you know, driving in convertibles, you know, like 1957 convertibles, you know, um, and, you know, at night. Okay. And it's, it's like it's windy and scary, but yet they're driving with the top down. Okay. And it's always, you know, some guy in a suit. Back then, the guys wear the suit and a little tie, a little skinny tie. And the girl, you know, in her poofed up hair and the pearls, you know. And then the, and so I remember the, the, the vulture man scooped down and picked up this girl and took her to the cave, vulture cave. Mm -hmm. And then the boyfriend guy or whatever went to go save her and that kind of thing. <laughs> and where I lived, and at this time we lived in Florida, there was this tree out by the, outside my window. Okay. And the moon would shine through it. And I always swear I could see like a vulture man, mm -hmm. whatever. It kind of freaked me out as a little kid. And to this day, you know, I'll kind of look over my shoulder. You know, we're driving in a convertible, that kind of stuff. I'm waiting for the vulture man to come get you. Vulture and uh, and I don't know if I can make it up to the cave. I don't make, I, you know, I'd have to, right. Anybody ever has heard of that movie. So what about you? What, um, what, what, what's your scary movie that's messed you up? Okay, I, mean, wait, I have to see, right here. You can't see this very well. I just, is that it? Do you, you that? find, uh, is that, do you see it in the, is that vulture man? That, that's, that's it. Is that, that's, that's it. it. Did you find? How's that? That's it. The vulture. That's it. Ah. Oh, baby, you're going to have to hold me tonight. Oh, no. I'm going to be scared. All right, that's it. Oh, All right. That's a little crazy. Yep. Uh, no, I haven't heard of that too hard. You know, know, that's the one that messed me up. Um, Carmen is saying his was Halloween. Halloween. I was just thinking about that. Back in hype, that back with... um um. Uh, Lee, um, ja Jamie Lee Curtis, mm -hmm. the, the screamer. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And back, that was back when I was in high school, back when I was in, it came out when I was in sophomore. Okay. And that's when, I don't know if you guys ever do this when you're in high school. And you know, I think it's a guy girl thing to get the guys to get the girls out. We always go to, we go see a scary movie about this time. And then we go out and uh, it'd be like a house that's like abandoned in the woods or part woods where they get ready to tear it down and do a neighborhood, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And we go in the house at night and it's okay. scary. Well, with the, of course, I'm with the group and the guys, and I can't be a wuss, you know, even though I didn't want to see the movie. I spent the whole movie looking down. You know, I, I think I went and got like three boxes of Jujibee's fruits or what, you know, my candy or whatever, just and I had to go to the bathroom and, you know, is that kind of movie. And then we went out to the dark like that, you know. But Halloween, that's a good one. That's a good one. That one's really a good one. Huh. Uh, let's see, um, where are we at here? Um, Chris says Ring. I haven't heard of Ring. Chris Copeland says Ring. Ring. I, I, have, I recall seeing that. That's know. probably a little after our time. That's when movies got little, you know, they weren't as scary. Back in our day, they were really scary. It. Nick Marcello saying It. It. Ooh. The original It. The original It. Except for the ending was dumb. Yeah, the spider guy. Matt Benton said he knows you're alone. He oh. knows. Yeah, that's, that's one. Ernest yeah. Scared Stupid. <laughs> that's yeah, right. That's, right. that's not a scary right. movie. Right. Um, TK, The Shining. The Shining, TK. Oh, oh, good. Now, that was good. That was Classic. good. Right. Mm -hmm. Those movies are kind of messed with your mind. Oh, okay. Another one we saw, and I don't like these kinds. Of, I know you don't like these. These are scary <laughs> movies you won't watch. But like The Omen. Okay, that was my freaky one. The Omen. The Omen was just way and he, too And, you know, the kid turns mind. around and does his little smile. Oh, Skyboss. I'm assuming this is Jody. She's saying um, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Everybody oh, everybody. Oh, my gosh. That's uh, good. Let's do the time warp. Let's do Jody the time. Does, well, she can't do the time warp now because she has a twisted ankle. Did you ever do, this is back in our day, we went out to, you remember going to the movies? We had a, a they would play it, um, the yeah. movie, like at 12 o'clock every night. night. Mm -hmm. And then you, you bring in your, you know, your, your squirt guns and everyone, you said yep. there are certain words and that kind of thing. You bring rice, you right. bring newspapers. Yeah, Jody, she totally okay. did that. I'm, I'm so convinced of it. Um, let's see, Chris says scary movies are scary, so doesn't like being scared. I don't like being scared. Uh, um, let's see. And Chris is saying uh, the ring. You were telling me here some something that sounds like that creepy girl. Halloween yeah. Me out when it came out. Yes. Death, oh, death, death. that's thinking of the, the creepy sound like that. Uh, remember um, Amityville Horror, the original oh, one. Yeah. Amityville Horror. La 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 la. <laughs> With the girls singing that kind of thing. Amityville Horror. Oh. Oh yeah, that was. That's crazy. one. Get out. And hey, the, the, my house tells me to get out. <laughs> I'm out of the house, yeah. man. I'm not sticking around. Wait, wait. You know, I'm living here. What's the time right. on the on the 
let's see if it let's see if Matt Benton remembers this in Amityville Horror. What was the time on the digital clock? I wake up every morning to go pee. At Did this I say that time. at this time? If I don't say it, anybody remember? They remember the time? time and I think they purposely chose that because yeah. it's where he, we kind of all naturally kind of wake up around that time. Anyone remember the time? Mm -hmm. Matt, you remember the time? Remember and the every time morning, time. every early morning when I wake up to go, mm -hmm. you know, I have, to, I have to go, you know, the prostate thing kind of gets, else. right, do do? right. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Ricky, hello, welcome. Hey, what's, what's a movie, scary movie that's freaked you out? Mm -hmm. Hey, this, is, this is all about your plumbing business. Dick Marcella says signs, but Jody uh, Enright is living in Arachnophobia. Oh, man. That's so true. So true. You are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Freaking out. Uh -huh. Freaks <laughs> me out. Spiders. I know. Oh, Hocus Pocus. That is all right. That's a fun one. That is a fun one. Okay. You remember American Sorry. Werewolf in London? Signs was a funny movie. Who just said that? Ricky? That was not. That was kind of freaky. Ricky. That wasn't funny. Yeah. That was freaky. I, of course, I think the one of all time that's probably the biggie mm -hmm. is um, The Exodist. Ex we don't Exor the, the Exorcist. Yeah, The Exorcist, Exorcist. and The Exodus. <laughs> <laughs> that would be just right. fantastic. Right. He was kind of freak. Hey, go back and watch that now. Remember, he used to watch, go watch, it is kind of scary watching that acting. Which one? Exorcist? The Exorcist <laughs> background. <laughs> or, I mean, I mean, The Exodus. Exodus, okay. or the, the, the Ten Commandments. Oh, that's, okay, right. that's so bad. Right. Okay, Matt, there did we, you Matt, look it up or did you know? Did, did you know, that's right. 315. 315. Oh, right. Freaky. Always waking up. I'm going to wake up to that time tonight. You know, and the, the wall's bleeding. And what freaked me out was Jody the pig or the pig or whatever <laughs> that, you know, he looks out the windows and there's like these eyes and it's like uh -huh. a big pig. In the book, it was like a big pig. It's like, what? <laughs> Get out. Hallmark movies, scary movies. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Ricky says um, to signs, my kids and I laughed at signs. I don't know if that's possible. That's oh, there was some. That was scary. Oh. That was really scary. I'm just saying. <gasps> Poltergeist. Right. Oh, Pol that was okay. a good one. Okay, this is a funny story. Poltergeist, Jody, you're funny. Because that was scary when it came when out. When it came out? I remember, we yeah. We watched it with our daughter when she was, I don't know. Like yeah, we were back. Like, oh, right. When really she was five. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, this is going to be really Real scary. scary. They wanna... She laughed through oh, the entire thing. Right. This isn't scary. The little, little person with, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and they're, like, they're here. Mm -hmm. that kinda... They're here. Right. And they come in twos, you know. Mm -hmm. and they walk down the stairs. Oh, and the meat, you know. <laughs> And with the American Wolf in Love is, was scary as a little guy. Yeah, that, was, that kind of freaked me out as a little guy. Yeah. Anyway, oh, that was fun. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to watch a scary movie tomorrow. Anybody All right. going to watch a scary movie? You're going to watch a scary movie? In fact, yeah. our, our middle son, I guess we found out, is coming over. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have a pizza. Hey, a break in, uh, break in our, um, been working out, getting ready for uh, Jamaica Mon with our, with our clients. Yes. Going to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And... Um, been working out, but we're going to break it right. tomorrow. We're going to be eating pizza and eating everything. Watch a scary movie. Sounds fun. Yes. All right. Freak out the little Halloween. Insidious. Insidious. Insidious or assiduous? Insidious. All right. There's a lot. Of, I never got into the like the Friday the 13th and that, that kind of stuff. Well, the ones or, that are like scary, they're not even scary now. They're just um. They all like slash your blood and, and yeah, oh, cutting people gosh. up and yeah. ah, you know no, that kind the of. Mind, the mind uh, trippy ones are yeah, scary. that's what gets yeah, gets me. You know. Anyway, okay, million all right, you but is your plumbing business haunted? That's all right, that's what we want to know. Mm -hmm. Let's talk some plumbing business okay. on this Hollow Eve. All right. Hollow's Eve. Hallows there we go. Hollow's Eve. Okay. You know, it's pretty bad that we're celebrating this. <laughs> I feel a little bit, right? We're celebrating uh, demons. We're not. We're not. <laughs> we're not. It's just, to us, it was just kind of fun. Kids fun, get to right. dress up, bake some yep. candy. They bring it that's what we did. It was all about the candy. That we want it's all about the candy. So and that's what it is with your plumbing business, too. It's all <laughs> well, about the candy. Get, you take the... Uh, House tax, right? Yeah. Home from trick or treat. All right, let's see. It. Yeah, we got to. Yeah, got to pay. Got to pay a little tax, a little toll, yeah. whatever to come back in, right? You would get some milk does, and I would get some milk. Does. We'd go through the kids' stuff. We'd be <laughs> spreading out, and you know, all that, one for them, two for us. Mm -hmm. You know, mom and dad had our stash. Uh -huh. You know that we we get off the kids. You guys remember watching uh, what was the mo uh, the special that came on um, on TV for our older guy every every year that you look forward to as a kid to watch. On Halloween, during Halloween time. What oh, was the special? Okay, and it wasn't scary. And it wasn't scary. No, it was fun. Everybody remember what it was? Yeah, does anybody remember? Huh? I do. Sponsored by Dolly Madison. <laughs> All right. Oh my anybody, gosh. anybody remember? Anybody over the age of four? Only anybody over the age of four. Come on. Remember that. Come on, Jody, Matt. <laughs> some of some of our uh, more um, seasoned uh, 
brothers and sisters here. Yeah. Remember what was the, the TV show that came on? You look forward to it as a kid because you didn't have cable. It wasn't that no cable and you have videos and all that kind of stuff. So you had to you had to write it down and make sure you could watch it. You know, you miss it. Sponsored by Dolly Madison. Dolly Madison. Remember what it was? A Charlie Brown Christmas. I mean, I mean, Charlie Brown. Halloween. Halloween. Brown. What was it? What was it called? Charlie Brown's um, The Great Pumpkin. The Great Pumpkin. <laughs> right. Well, if we, great Pumpkin. Success. And he'd go out and he, he always got a... So and what did, what did Charlie Brown always get? Yes. Anybody remember that? What did Charlie well, Brown... Today, I don't even think he can show this on TV anymore because it's, it's, it's hate crime. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure it'd be, you know... <laughs> I mean, it'd be hate. I mean, yeah, we're spreading hate and, and <laughs> probably, we, we probably <laughs> scarred kids. Uh -huh. But what did Charlie right. Brown always get? Does anybody remember? Anybody remember? Mm -hmm. Anybody remember? Let us know. What did Charlie Brown always get? Mm -hmm. I mean, you think about it. It was really, man. It was sad. They were, yeah, it was mean. It was very mean. You know, yeah, and no wonder we were such a <laughs> hateful nation. <laughs> Look at that. You know, they always gave him a rock. Just because oh gosh, they didn't like him, this. because his ghost outfit had like 10 eyes. You know, remember that? His little ghost outfit had 10 eyes. Mm -hmm or something like that so mm -hmm. he got a rock think about that think about the uh the homes oh, it, yeah. that had actually had to ro have rocks to right. decide well i'm going to give this kid a rock to give this poor kid you know mm -hmm. there's something um right. something bad about that That's remember different. what was the what was the little they did a little side i never got to i never liked this part of it <laughs> um but it had like a little side story with snoopy remember oh, yeah i never got that either you know dumb. right the Red Baron. The Red Baron all of a sudden became like, yeah, and he was making it through the countryside, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> right, all right, all right. Here we go, rocks, that's right. You know, so you know these kids shows, this is another, what was another show? Remember we were talking about last time we watched, um, what? and this is, this is a different to holiday, oh my but the last time we watched, story. hey, this is important for your plumbing business, okay. listen up. Okay. Oh, that's funny. Remember, the, the last time we watched this, we actually made a point. It was one of my favorite <laughs> holiday shows I waited for every year to watch. It was right. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yes. The, okay, we are so off topic. It's oh, topic. Santa was a... Jerk. Ah, there's a harder name than that. It starts with a D and it ends <laughs> with Ick. Uh, did I say that? Oh, Santa. Santa was... So you know, he was all over making fun of Rudolph just because, what a bigot. He had a red nose. Yep. Ah, yeah. you know, <laughs> kill him. <'em. laughs> oh, man. Oh, All right. Red noses matter. That's right. Right. Red noses matter. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I get off. Boy. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Are, we, are we done with the show at this point? Are we just finished? No, we're it? not. Hey, Johnny. Johnny's commenting. Um, remember watching The Legend of Santa Oh, Hello. Johnny, a good one, brother. That one. A good one. one. Scary. Headless Horseman. Hey, I didn't know John, Johnny's um, grew up in my, my neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you remember the Hall, um, Englewood Dam area. That's the area. Okay, Englewood there. Dam back in the woods. You always had these, like, when they were building that area, we used to go back in the, these old houses that were supposed, and supposedly it was one, it was Patty's house. And Patty killed her family. Every, I think every community has a house that Wait, where, where oh, the, so you know, a young, a young girl, yeah, I'm talking with Johnny, killed the whole family with an axe. Nice. All right, Santa was a bigot. That's what, I see what, he was, man. Go, go back and watch Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yes, go watch it. You'll be you know? shocked. I don't do they even show it anymore. Right. So and they're not very tolerant either because you had, you had the elf <laughs> right. that wanted to be a dentist. Um, I want to be a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, <laughs> yeah, we do. Is your plumbing business haunted? I don't know. All right. How can you tell if your plumbing business haunted? Let, for number one. Okay. Number one. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you see monsters in the dark? Mm -hmm. All right. Do you see monsters in the dark with your plumbing business? Mm -hmm. What do I mean by that? Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, we all get we all get into our plumbing businesses because you know we get we get into plumbing. Okay, we're good okay. at plumbing, and then we, we jump into the business, and all of a sudden everything's scary. You know, we're like little, little scared, scared guys because everything's dark. Everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. Little, <laughs> I'll keep it. I already <laughs> use some. It's already pretty strong. I already beat up on Santa. Oh, oh that's almost, you know, that's almost un-American. Un you know, mm -hmm. but we everything is in the dark when you start your plumbing business. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's this feeling. There's this monsters out there. Yeah. All right. Until you, you ever have that? I, you know, just talk, talking about that. We all kind of our kids. Um, my, my scary thing was, I remember my, my grandparents' uh, basement, 
and uh, they lived in an older home and and back when there was a coal bin and then they, they canned so you had the canning area and that kind of stuff so you know it was something out of silence of the lambs you know the basement went, went on forever you know that kind of a thing it was always you know and it make me go down there at night you know to get something because they were too old to walk down the steps when i stay with them or whatever and it's like always oh, so you have the one light that you pull with. they didn't have the core you know they didn't have the the plug or you know, the switch up top of the top of the steps. You had to go down to the bottom of the steps and walk out a few feet into right. the darkness mm -hmm. to pull the string light. Right. With the, and when you pull it, it's swinging and everything's moving and there's shadows everywhere. It used to freak me out. Mm -hmm. it used to freak me out during the day when I could see things, mm -hmm. and, you know. And as I learned what was there and what this different stuff was, then I wasn't so scared. Right. You know, similar things with with our kids. You know. But that's how we are with our plumbing businesses. We go into the plumbing business. We got the plumbing part down, but we don't have the business part down. And it's all this business stuff. It's all dark. It's all strange to us. Mm -hmm. It's all scary. Okay? And you just got to shed some light on it. And once you shed some light on it, all right, learn it, you see how, you know, it's really nothing there. There's no monsters. Okay? Mm -hmm. But, but you got it. You got to shed some light on the dark. Okay? On the darkness there. You got to know, okay, what systems you need to be in place. Okay? And what they're about. And implement them. You know, there right. we go. Sorry, okay. what, yeah, what, no, I, what, well, what? I'm what? listening over here with sound, and so I'm just wanting to see What's? if anybody can hear me and if I'm echoing, so there we go. Can All right. So that'd be great. So Monsters in the Dark, you say. That's your number one. Monsters in the Dark. Okay. I, that, that gets a lot of guys right there. Um, and some of the guys just play it real cool. They decide to just run back up in the steps, you know, and they don't even want to face the monsters. Okay, okay that's going to... Then the monsters become real. They, they, when, you, when you don't face that yeah. darkness, okay. the monsters become real, and they will get you at that point. So you can't play it cool and just say, well, I'm going to stick with paper. You know, the guys I hear that are still on pen and paper, that, that's because you're scared. That's the bottom line is you're scared. All right? You need to be using stuff like, you know, like Sky Boss, okay? You, you got to be using that kind of stuff, okay? Or, you know, I just don't, I don't want to, you know, hire anybody because I don't, don't have any systems to train them. I don't even know where to get guys, you know? That's why you need stuff like Applicant Pro, okay? These, these kinds of systems. There's no excuse. There's, there, it's like a, like a no-brainer. It's, it's simple, okay? It's, it's the light, all right? If you're not using these kinds of things and systems, you're living in the dark, okay? Um, with your businesses in the dark ages, okay? Wow. And you're going to die. They're going to get you. They're going to get you, okay? All right? They are going to get you. All right? So monsters in the dark, okay? Number Okay, number two. Okay. okay, two. All right. Do you see dead men driving? Mm. This, is, this is another. This is another biggie. Mm -hmm. Okay, that you see dead men driving, calling to you. Come drive with us. <laughs> Come drive with us. Okay. All right. Well, what do you mean drive. That? Drive all over town giving free estimates with us. Mm. Because we're doing it, you got to do it too. Okay. <laughs> And so you just kind of, they just, they zombie you. They pull, pull you into this thing. Well, I'm a dead man driving too. I got to be driving all over town giving free estimates because these other deadheads are doing it too. And so now I'm a dead man driving. No, that's, that's, that's killing a lot of guys right there. We get caught up into that. We, we see a lot of that, sadly. I mean, I'll, I'll have guys talking to it and they, you know, t you know I let them go on. And it'll, it'll give me a hundred reasons why they supposedly got to be a dead man driving too. Mm -hmm. why, why they got to do it, you know, and it's just... I think we've broken all of our clients and that's kind of I think, from that. I think, I think our clients, we, we have, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. And we work real hard with the Success Academy mm -hmm. of getting that one across. That's one of the first things we get by. Guys are killing... If you're out there, all right, and um, you're, you're seeing dead men driving, mm -hmm. and you're dead man driving, okay, that's... You know, if you, if you drink that potion, all right, you go, oh, 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 and you drink that po potion or eating that, you know, that rotten fruit, mm -hmm. all right, you, you've fallen prey to that, mm -hmm. all right, you need to save yourself, okay? And it's an easy, easy way to save yourself is just to say, no, I'm, I'm not going to be a dead man driving any longer, mm -hmm. okay? You don't have to be driving all over town giving free estimates, right. okay? Bar for else. Yep. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Dead man driving. Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a lot of ghosts and goblins and demons that are getting, getting guys that we see that are, are haunting plumbing businesses mm -hmm. all over, okay? But this is a biggie. This is, this is the one, th 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 this is the thing, guys. Th this is it, okay? All right. all right? 
that this is the one that gets um, most everyone. And quite frankly, it will never quite leave you. This, okay, the, this one is real, all right? And it's your personal demons. Personal demons. Personal demons. Yeah. Sadly, personal demons mm -hmm. are what, uh, what get most guys, okay? okay? What, what uh, kill most plumbing companies. Okay, you know, you ever see, um, you know, it is like the scary movies, okay. you know, where you see the, the guy gets possessed, you know, yeah. and they, you know, and the, and, the, and the possessed, you know, the, the demon makes a person, you know, walk off the cliff or in front of the car or does something, you know, or to stab themselves. That, that's, what, that's what these personal demons are doing to you, okay? Uh, but sadly, these are, these are more real. Okay, it, it's all the it's all the trash. Okay, you got you got these voices. What are the personal demons? These, these voices in your head that are you're telling you that well, you're not good enough. You're not good enough. Mm -hmm. You know that that's a that's a big one. That another one is who do you think you are? That that hits a lot of guys. Mm -hmm. Who do you think you are? Our family doesn't. Right, our right. You didn't. You're, you're supposed to. You know, you're supposed to work at the factory. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't you, own the factory. Right, you're, su you're supposed to get in line, all right? You're supposed to work for that pension. Work for that pension, mm -hmm. all right? The union, the union is safe. The union is where you need to be, mm -hmm. all right? You're not, not on your own. Don't, don't be making your own. You can't do that, mm -hmm. all right? That's deadly out there. Mm -hmm. Freedom's not good, yep. okay? They can be, um, it's like, um, you know, in the Raiders of the Lost Ark, okay. you know, when all the... When the spirits of whatever first come out of the ark, remember that scene at the end? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. and they're real pretty. Mm -hmm. Your demons, the bad things can look really nice. So they can say nice things like, okay. once you get going, once you start making a little bit of money with your plumbing business, mm -hmm. all right, you need that Harley Davidson. You've got to buy that Harley. Oh, now's the time. You need to buy that boat. Mm -hmm. You're worth it. <laughs> buy the boat you now. Work you work hard. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, those kinds of things. And then they turn, Wah! and they eat your, you know, burn your face off. Face. Right. They consume you with fire. Okay. <laughs> well, the demons do. I see, they'll eat your face. Okay. Personal demons. Personal demons. I know, we're having fun here, guys. Hope you're having fun with it. Does that make sense to you? I mean, we, we see it, um, these, these things all the time. Uh, monsters in the dark. The dark will get you. Guys, uh, businesses, your, your, your plumbing business is suffering because you're afraid of the dark. Mm -hmm. The dark being you, you're afraid of what, what you don't know, what you don't understand yet. So you, so you back out. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, the pen and paper. Working with pen and paper has been fine. It's what I know. It's, what I, it's been fine for me. It's what I do. All right. Um, it's what and, I know. Right. It's, it's, it's what I know. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, you know, I, I don't need to know. I don't know. What's this Google thing? I don't need to know Google. Yellow page has been working fine for me, <laughs> right? Definitely all right, right there. Okay, mm -hmm. it's it's just because we're afraid. Now the bottom line is you're afraid. I see it left and right. Okay, mm -hmm. um, you know, just afraid of the dark. Uh, dead men driving. That that's a biggie. Guys driving around. If you're if you're doing any, if you're giving free estimates, you're you're a dead man driving. Yep. All right. If you if you're well, well they well they're asking me they want they want a price first. Mm -hmm. You're a dead man driving. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, that's what everyone else is doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're a dead man driving. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just that plain and simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in personal demons, Sally, we, we all face these. To this day, to this day, I fight that one. I'll be a little transparent with you. You know, we've been, you know, we've been, we've been very successful. Okay. Um, we've been very, uh, you know, we've been, we've been up and down. We've also we've lost a few things too. Mm -hmm. But where we come from, I come from the other side of the tracks. You know, broken home, uh, rough. I didn't, you know, didn't get, you know, everyone, a lot of, we probably have a lot of this in common, a lot of clients I talk to, you know, if we're in plumbing. Mm -hmm. It's where we come from, okay? And it still can feel a little, um, you know, to this day, we've flown, you know, we fly nice and fly first class, we do, you know, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. To this day, I still feel a little awkward, you know? Your family just doesn't do that. Because my family doesn't do that, mm -hmm. you know? Um, we, we don't. In fact, it's, um, you know, a family will say that's, you don't need to be doing that. Why are you, why are you doing that? You need to be, you need to be saving, you need to be saving for your future. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever, what, fu what future? <laughs> you need to be saving your pennies, mm -hmm. right? You know, you know, that kind of a thing. Right. Um, and so to this day, 
56 years old, mm -hmm. still have these, these things where these demons will speak. Been very, succe been very successful. Mm -hmm. And to this day, um, even just the other day, you, you caught me. I was, I was, you had to remind me, you're pretty good. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like, no, I don't know what I'm doing here. You know, I still this day, mm -hmm. you know. So your demons will always, you know, they, they never quite go away, okay. Um, but if you let them control you, they will get you. Their only purpose. In fact, for, for my believers, you know, we're, right, you know, is to, right, steal, kill, and destroy. That's very real, okay. We have an adversary as human beings, okay. We have a God who loves us dearly, and he sent Jesus, all right, so that we could spend our, you know, eternity with him. The other side of that, we, we have an adversary that, that wants to kill us and will tell us these lies. Doesn't, doesn't want you to be successful. Certainly doesn't want your plumbing business to be successful. Doesn't want you to help people, all right. Doesn't want to help, have you help provide opportunity. Uh, doesn't want your family to be secure. Right. Okay. Doesn't want you to be happy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they look, they'll, you know, they'll come at you at times when um, speak to you where things sound soft and nice and pretty. And they make sense. And they make sense, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Logically. shouldn't you just get a real job that they're they're hiring over at the factory? Mm -hmm. You know, our our our, 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 our friend our friend uh, our friend Bob can get you on. Mm -hmm. You know, a supervisor position. Mm -hmm. You know, good benefits. That thing, mm -hmm. you know, stop with this this hobby, you know, this playing around mm -hmm. with, with this this plumbing stuff, mm -hmm. right? Yep. TK's you know. got it. TK is saying, let your haters be your motivators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's easy to say, and that's great, TK. And we, we that you know, we have a lot of those um, those lines, you know, and those those sayings and that kind of stuff. But when you're by yourself in the darkness of your own personal battle, okay, with your plumbing business. That's where a lot of guys, you know, I, I, I tell this to, to our, our private clients, you know, this is one reason I'm so, so proud of them. Look, as your coach, I, I can tell you, you know, we can get you ready for the fight and can show you what punches are going to be coming and even how to throw to the different punches. But when it's all said and done, you're the only one in the ring. Mm -hmm. You're in the ring taking the hits all by yourself. Mm -hmm. There ain't nobody else with you. Okay, so it's hard to remember when you're being hit in the face and you're not even sure where the, the you know, the punches are coming from mm -hmm. that, you know, the, let the haters be your motivators. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. When you're on the, <laughs> right. on the, uh, the mat. <laughs> right. When you're, you're face down on the mat and it's, it feels so nice and soft. <laughs> right. But sometimes yeah. it helps to have these sayings that, that yeah, you can kind of, as a mantra, just help, help you up off the mat. You, you right? got to, right. So, I mean, there is a, there's a power there. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to... Um, you know, come across as where we just kind of poo-poo that stuff. It's, it's power. I want to get. It's very powerful. Those demons are powerful. You know, um, I never finished. Um, I never finished college. Uh, quite frankly, I got bored, and so I don't have that that college piece of paper now. I I've done enough business and both good and bad um, that I should have my MBA. I mean, they don't teach you. They don't teach you business. In, in, in business school, in college. You will not learn business. You'll learn accounting and finance and how numbers add up and what you can do and where you keep track of things, that kind of stuff, but will not teach you business. But to this day, you know, I still have that demon and, you know, do I really understand the numbers? Do I really get this? Do I really, because I didn't get that piece of paper. I have, I have that, you know, right, I, I have that demon that says, well, you're not, every once in a while speaks to me, you never finished college. You know, you didn't finish, yep. you know, and so it, it, never, it, it, never, it never, never goes away. But, you can help but, but I hold on to it. One thing I hold on, yes. um, those who can't teach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So that's why I got in a discussion with a, a, a teacher, a teacher uh, who, who is the head of a, a nice school of the business side. Uh, never run a business in his life. Never run a business in his life. And we're talking numbers. And of course, it's, it works. There's one way. There's textbooks way, mm -hmm. and then there's real world way. Right. Okay. There's real world when it's a real life human being who is um, upset at you, or they're having their own problems in their life, and decides not to pay you, or or you know, right. the company has different pressures, so they're calling in their loan. Mm -hmm. You know, legal. You can tell. You can, textbook can work all different way, but it's in reality, it works a whole other way. Mm -hmm. And I just remember thinking, and this guy, you know, he's he has he's, he's in fact he's doctor. They yeah. call him doctor. Yeah. Doctor, blah blah blah, and it's like, I, you know, those who can't teach. I don't think you want him over. <laughs> I did. I didn't win him over because he. We live in two separate worlds. He lives in La La world, and I live in the real world. You know, <laughs> he talks about making money. Mm -hmm. 
I made real money. Right. right. That's and you're making real money. That's right. And so that's a good point. That's a good point we're going to go. If right. you're, that's the point I want everyone to take with you, okay, and really what this is all about. If you have your own plumbing business, think about this. You've, you're creating your own economy. You're creating the economy. You're not the drag. Nope. You're not these politicians and teachers and, and blah, blah, blahs. They don't know what they're talking about, okay, that, that haven't done it, all right? You have. You're doing it. All right, you're creating the economy. You're creating dollars out of thin air. Mm -hmm. You're creating opportunity. You're creating jobs. Yep. Okay, now you did that exactly. So tell these demons to take a hike. Take a hike. How's that? All right, <laughs> there we go. All right. Good okay. Show. All right. You look very <laughs> <handsome> <laughs> <too>. <laughs> hey, baby, you want to play? Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying to go. Okay. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Happy Halloween. Happy everybody. Halloween. Hey, if you want to know more mm -hmm. about how to exercise oh. the demons, mm -hmm. the goblins, and the ghosts from your plumbing business, mm -hmm. you need to check out my Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy. Everything in there to do just that, mm -hmm. all right? Starting from how to get rid of the, uh, the ghost of the right price, mm -hmm. all right? That's and that's the, the flat rate pricing monsters, all right? All right, everything from uh, the right kind of marketing. I'm running out of uh, examples for Halloween, that kind of stuff, all right? But bottom line is we're teaching the business of plumbing, mm -hmm. all right? And get certified in your plumbing business. Yep. It's all there, and you can check it out now free for 14 days. Mm -hmm. Free 14-day trial. So you don't need to be scared of that either. No. Hey, okay. I'm going to put up a comment. Talk. Ricky just said, I was thinking I'm not um, very good as the owner. I should merge with another company. Suck at the business side. Ricky, no. No, Ricky. No, no. Teach no. you the business. Don't, don't merge with another. Do it on your own, okay? All right. Check out 14 Days Free. You can't afford not to do it. All right. Just check it out. All right. Do your own thing. As always, because you were purposely, wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things, Ricky. All right. Fun like a champion. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, type 5 in the comment section now. Just do it. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.